Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Satina and I'm the Makeup Enthusiast. In today's video we're doing my next round of updates for my Partners in Cream project pan. This is a big collaboration between a crap load of people on YouTube and Instagram. We are focusing on only cream products in this project because cream products tend to go off a lot quicker. So this project is designed to get use out of all those cream products in your collection. I focus on six products I believe at a time and a lot of products that I've been working on this year I have set myself like usage goals. I have finished a few products here and there but the majority of them have been usage goals. Before we get into the updates, if you are new around here and you wanna keep up to date on this project and all my other content I post here on YouTube um, at least twice a week and I go live on YouTube most Sundays. So if you do wanna get notified about all of those videos, then I hope you would consider subscribing down below. And without further ado, let's jump on into the update. I want to give myself like a round of applause, a pat on the back, because I feel like this month was an extremely successful month when it comes to my progress. Some not the best, but we do have two rollouts this month and I have made whopping progress on one particular product that has been giving me trouble for a very long time. Let's go with the two products that I haven't made much progress on this past month. So the first one is the ColourPop eyeliner. This is the cream gel eyeliner in Get Paid. Last month, I believe I had only used this twice and I've only used it an additional time since then. So there's still a crap load of product in this one. Um, I am trying to get um, 20 uses out of this one before I roll it out. But this is a nice one. I just forget to use it most of the time. So I don't know, I need to maybe put this, instead of having it in my drawer, I guess, with the products in this project, maybe I need to put it on my desk with the products in my Partners in Cream that I generally wear on a daily basis. So I might do that, I might switch it to the other box. Then the next one I have is my Too Faced Glitter Glue and I'm trying to get to 50 uses on this one. I am up to six uses. So I did use this an additional four times, I think this past month six uses so we still have what 44 left to go <laughs> so a long way to go and i do feel like i don't think i will have this done after 50 uses but i might have a very good dip on it by 50 uses i might be like you know sitting down about like a quarter left or something like that after 50 uses so i'm very hopeful that i can make some more progress on that one over the next month. I'm hoping maybe I can at least double that um, number. So maybe for my goal between now and next month, I can get to at least 12 uses and go forth. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can do that because I did set myself a goal for another product. We might talk about that product now. That is my Sydney Grace Cream Eyeshadow in Master Plan. This one has been taking me a very long time. And this month, I think I wanted to get myself up to six uses. I absolutely annihilated that goal because I am up to 13 uses on this one. So this past month, I discovered that I thoroughly enjoyed this product. It wasn't that previously I didn't like it. It was just that I hadn't really found a way to incorporate it into my routine um, fairly regularly. But I have discovered this past month that I love pairing this shadow. Um, so this one on the lid with one of my pink shadows in my part, in my pan, those eyeshadows, um, one of those pink shadows. So either the one from the Sydney Grace palette or the Inglot palette, I'd put that on the outer corner. And then on the inner portion of the lid, so I would say like, the inner third of the lid, I would put the Kat Von D shadow that I have in my Roulette Pan collab, the purple one from that palette. I think it's called Amethyst. And the eye look, I just loved how it looked. So once I did that combination once, I like just continued to repeat it because I really liked how it looked. So I probably will do the same thing again for the next eight uses on this one. Uh, eight uses? seven uses for the next seven uses on this one 
But I think that if I do the same progress again that I did this month, I will well and truly be up to the 20 uses. And I think this one will be a rollout at the next update because you know, I smashed the goal this, this month. I'm up to 13 uses. My goal on this one was 20 uses and I'm very close. I'm like this close, I'm this close. But it's just like, it's really annoying because I could have been making so much more progress on other um, shadows because um, I've been like procrastinating on this one for such a long time. I finally figured out a way that I like to use it and now I'm just like bowling over the goal. The next one is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I am so freaking close on this one. I want to say that it's probably maybe a handful of uses left. When I look at this container and when I use it, it's at the point where I have to like flip it over and squeeze it out this way. So it's getting very close. It's probably down to about here, if not lower. Um, so it's getting extremely close to being finished. I again have been using this one very, very consistently this past month. And I think that I will have this one done in, I want to say maybe like a week, maybe a week and a half. This one's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would, but I think it's because the foundation that I've been wearing and using over the last couple of months has been my Bourjois CC cream. And it's a bit difficult to use um, a lot of this in one go when I pair it with that foundation or that CC cream because the CC cream is like more on the lighter side and it's not as long lasting as a lot of my other foundations. So it can be a little bit difficult if I'm putting too much like initial oil or luminosity on my skin, um, particularly if I'm wearing the CC cream like all day because it can look like a massive, massive greasy mess by the end of the day. Because I am um, almost finished this one, I am going to roll its replacement in now and I will let you know about whether I've had it finished uh, next month. So to replace that one, I'm going to roll in another kind of primer type product. I'm going to roll in the Mary Kay uh, oil mattifier. And I think this one's sitting about halfway. I think it's like down to about here. I'm not quite sure how long this will take me to get through. It may be only a month. It may be a little bit longer, but this one is a product that it's kind of like a little bit goes a long way because it is quite a liquidy type product. So I think a little bit will go a long way with this one. So it might be, I don't know, maybe like, might be like a full month, it might be two months, I'm not quite sure. I will keep track of the progress and I will definitely be able to update you um, on that one in the next month. And I'll probably have a better idea of whether I'll have it finished anytime soon uh, at the next update. The next two are my cream bronzer and my cream blush that I was working on. My goal on both of these was 50 uses and I managed to reach that goal this past month. So I was working on the Becca Beach Tint in Watermelon Moonstone. I was really hoping that I would have hit pan after the 50 uses, but I don't know if you can see there, but there's definitely no pan. I do, I have made a considerable amount of progress on this one though, I think. Uh, I think it's getting quite low to the bottom of the, the, the bottom of the, the jar, let's say, let's call this a jar. I'm getting below, like quite close to the bottom of the jar up the top here. Maybe sometime next year, I might roll it in again for another 50 uses. And at that point, we might hopefully see some pan on it. But until then, um, she's gonna go back in my collection and we're going to replace her with another cream blush. So we're going to replace like for like. So I'm going to roll in my Mecca Max. Uh, this is a off duty blush stick. This is in the color pinch and I haven't really used this one all that much. You can still see like the dome over the top of the top of the, um, the, the stick there. And there's still, there's so much product in these off duty, these off duty sticks. This is how much is in there for this one. I have, to date, I've done um, like considerable progress on my highlighter stick in the same 
brand and my now bronzer stick so I would like to do the same thing with the blush stick now and I want to get this like dome basically like flattened off and it like almost down to the top of the the little bullet stick here that's one's coming in I'm going to set myself a goal of 50 uses on this one and then my Mecca max uh, contour stick in the color medium I managed to hit my 50 use goal on this one this past month as well and as you can see there it is like there's a tiny little bit peeking over the top of the rim of the tube there of the stick there the little component plastic component and this is how much we have left so after 50 uses on these sticks it gets very close to either being like level with the top of the rim of the plastic component of the stick or it's like a little bit above so that's how much I have there I'm very proud of myself with this one and I did enjoy this one um, it was it was a nice product I do enjoy the formula on this actually on like all of these mecha sticks I actually really quite enjoy the formula so to replace that one I'm going to roll in the last one from my Smashbox step-by-step um, -step contour stick set this one is the contour I have already used up the highlight and the bronze stick this is the contour stick this is how much I have left of this one. I kind of want to set myself the goal of having this one completely finished, but I think that might be a little bit ambitious. So I'm going to initially set myself the goal of 50 uses on this one. I'm going to see how much progress I make with that goal. So if I manage to get down to like say here or something with 50 uses, um, I'm going to just keep going until it's finished. But if I'm only say up to like here with 50 uses, I probably will roll it out and rotate something else in. I continue to set myself usage goals on things like cream blushes and bronzers because I have um, a number of those products in those categories in my collection and I like basically all of them. So I don't want to just be completely setting myself like a whole year aside to completely use one of these up while the other formulas that I really enjoy are kind of going off. So I like to spread the love. I normally set 50 use goals on those products and um, that normally takes me like mm, between two to three months to hit those goals. But um, it's always enjoyable to rotate through the different formulas that I have in my collection. So that's all my updates. That's my roll-ins, my roll-outs. These two are going back in my collection. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is. There isn't any more. I do feel like this month has been quite successful when it comes to my partners in cream. I think I've made good progress on all of my products. If you are working on any of your cream products or you're just trying to focus on them, get some more use out of them, let me know how you're going with that down in the comments box. Uh, while you're down there, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you did enjoy this video, I hope you would consider subscribing down below to keep up to date on this project. That's it for this video, beautiful. I hope that you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, beautiful.